some money because that's my fun. Yeah, period. My funds, bitch. Here, my funds is my fun, huh? huh? I fuck with Shawty because she bought a business. Ay. She independent and she on a mission. Ay. Been through some shit, but now it's better living. Ay. I know that she put in some time. You remind me of me. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey K and make sure you subscribe because we live over here. Period. Alright y'all, so y'all see I'm back from Dallas and I'm at home. Clearly. I'm happy to be home y'all. I'm so very happy to be home. Every time I'm home for too long, I be like, okay, I'm ready to go somewhere. And then every time I go somewhere, I be like, okay, I'm ready to go back home now. So yeah, I'm happy to be back home and getting back to business i just got home yesterday and i'm already starting a new vlog for y'all see see how dedicated i am period right now i'm about to go run a few like an errand or two and then i have my brother with me my younger brother staying with me for a couple days so me and him are about to go go kart racing I thought that would be something fun to do. And today is Monday, so I'm starting the weekly vlog off on a Monday. And I'm going to be vlogging the entire week. This weekend, I will be back at my regular club. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey. Staying at your dress because it's see through. Yeah. Talking out of shit that you done been through. Yeah. Say that you a lesbian, girl, me too. Hey, girls want girls. I'm from hey, girls want girls. I forgot you said you show your friends in school of me and they said we don't look alike yeah. you show them to nia too uh -huh. mm -hmm. they think y'all look alike uh -huh. they say y'all look alike uh -huh. oh so i'm the only one that don't look like the family yep. all right we just want to do one race are you guys new here yeah can have you guys register with computers oh. to okay thank you okay we have to register first I look like I'm about to go rob somebody. <laughs> Y'all was going fast. Somebody bumped me. Somebody hit you? Yeah. Y'all, he hit me so hard. I, I oh, turned in a circle. I was hot in there. Uh -huh. Woo, look, take this off. I want to see the results. Like, how do I know if I beat you or you beat me? Exactly. I'm, I think I beat him, though. You probably did because you passed me in that second. I was going fast. I was going fast. My hair is crazy right now. I have a question. Hi. How do I know if I beat him or not? Follow me. I'll show you the uh, okay. right over here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Kayla and Christian. Now I'm about to get food from Brick and Flower. Y'all never been here? Y'all gotta come here. It's good. what's up guys so today is tuesday and yesterday as y'all saw we went go-kart race so today i am gonna be taking him to this it's like an echo park it's basically something real chill um we were gonna go mini golfing but he said he'd rather just do this instead it's like basically where you just like get on the swan little boat thing and you just like pedal i'm gonna make him do all the pedaling i do have a booking on friday i don't know if i told y'all that yet so on friday i'm gonna be doing that booking and then saturday i'll be going back to my club actually i might go back on thursday hmm. i think i'm gonna do thursday at the club friday the booking saturday and sunday at the club that sounds like a good plan so i think that's gonna be on the agenda i take him back to my parents house tomorrow and i also need to get my nails done and i need to get my lashes filled in because they're getting empty and i really wanted to get like knotless braids before summer's over and it's august already like, i've been wanting braids so bad but it's crazy because like i feel like once i get them i'm not even gonna keep them in that long because if y'all don't know by now i switch my hair up so fast like i get tired of a hairstyle so fast i'd be ready for something new boat check in he said he keeping his do-rag on so his braids can stay fresh. This is the first time he ever had braids, y'all. Look, my mama braided his hair, y'all. <laughs> so we get to do it, y'all. I just got to make the reservation on my phone. So let me do this real quick. Oh, it's a turtle. Can y'all see the turtle? Oh, it's a couple turtles. Oh, there's a lot of turtles. I wish I brought something to feed them. I don't have anything. Sorry, y'all. I would have fed y'all. He wants to share. Oh, you want to share? You want to feed them? He has a lot. He, he has a share. lot? Okay, you want to feed them? 
<laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I want to see you do it. Yeah, throw it. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> At least he shares. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's okay. really good. Trivia. Okay, so what's the question? Well, how many kinds of boat, swan boats are there? There only one. There's only one kind. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, one. Which side of the lake is the lady of, of the lady of the lake on? What side is the lady of the lake on? How many did we get wrong? We have five out of sixteen correct. Oh my God, we so suck. We There's suck. Two kinds of Oh my god, I don't play with bees. Oh, I don't care. That bee just tried to attack me multiple times. Oh no. He was right on me. Okay, it's too many bugs out here. So I got stung by a bee one time, and that was the worst experience of my life. It took one time and one time only for me to never mess with a bee again. An hour later. We got acai bowls. My brothers never had them, so we came to get some. I got kiwi, blueberries, and strawberries. And there, of course, there's granola in here at the bottom. He got blueberries, bananas, and strawberries with granola, right? Yeah, it's good? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So today is Thursday, and your girl is going back to her home club. Okay, so we're going back to the home club tonight. I don't know why I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in days. Like... Today's Thursday. I think the last time I talked to y'all was on Tuesday. I just feel like I miss y'all. Like, I just miss doing this. I miss being at home and telling y'all how I'm about to go to the club and make a bag. I just miss it. So, yeah, we back. I did go get my lashes filled today earlier. And then I got my nails and my feet done. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really a fan of my nails. But I love my feet, of course. Jenny did her thing. Daniel, I'm not gonna blame him. If y'all don't know, I go to Jenny and Daniel at my nail shop. Those are my peeps. And I'm not gonna blame Daniel for my nails because he did what I asked him to do. I just don't know how I feel about what I asked for. So I'm kind of like, I think from now on, I'm just gonna be getting plain nails, y'all, because I just was loving the plain so much. I think I'm just gonna start sticking to like nude colors, white, pinks, things like that. I have not been feeling like getting diamonds and these designs and stuff on my nails lately i don't know why but i just haven't been feeling it but i'm gonna still show the girls so. so these are my nails y'all they cool i'm not really feeling them at all i think i should have just got like pink french tip because that's literally what i got on my toes and i'm just like in love with how my toes look i'm like this pink on my toes is so freaking cute like to die for i'll probably get this again definitely and then also i feel like he should have used a pink acrylic powder that might have made a difference i was like you know this is what i asked for he did it i don't like it it's not his fault it's my fault but my toes jenny did that about to head to work y'all i got me a new red bull if y'all seen in one of my last videos i tried the red watermelon red bull it was actually really really good and then i saw that they had the yellow tropical red bull so i want to try this one It's not nasty, but it's not as good as the red one. I feel like it's a, it's, I taste something in it that I don't like. I don't know. It's something in there I don't like. But I'm honestly about to stop drinking Red Bulls, y'all. And I'm about to start drinking these these energy teas instead. Because Red Bulls are just so bad for you. I probably won't stop drinking them 100%. I'm going to try to buy those teas instead and see if they work for me. But tonight, I definitely need this because your girl's sleep schedule has been thrown off. i literally been going to sleep at like midnight. And that's like so early compared to when I usually go to sleep when I go to work. So I'm like, by the time midnight come around, I'm going to be in the club and I'm going to be on it. But okay, y'all, fingers crossed for a bag. It's Thursday. Let's see what the club is going to do for your girl. First night back on a Thursday. 
what's up my lovely people i am back at home y'all and i just look like i'm in such a great mood right like i just look like i'm happy well i actually had a horrible night but i'm not gonna let it make me mad because tomorrow night well technically tonight i have two bookings two private bookings with my babes Deja and TT, so I'm gonna be reunited with them. If y'all haven't seen my vlogs with them, then you're missing out. Make sure you go watch all of my vlogs and then you'll know who I'm talking about. We're about to run up a bag tomorrow. All three of us have two private bookings tomorrow, so I'm not even gonna be mad about tonight because I know tomorrow I'm gonna make money guaranteed. And I already got paid to show up to both events, so I've already made money from these events and I will go and make more money. And the second event we're doing, we actually did an event for them before and it was a bag. So I'm happy because the club tonight was horrible. I don't know if it's because it's Thursday, but I will be going back to the club on Saturday. So we'll see how Saturday goes. If Saturday is bad, then that just means August is not a good month to be at the shrimp club. And I will see y'all tomorrow because tomorrow's gonna be the mother day, okay? Period. Also, I just wanted to hop back on camera real quick and one of the girls asked me on Instagram to review this hair since I've had it in for a little while now. Y'all, this hair, let me tell you, it is so freaking bomb. Like, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, I just took it out the clip and look how it's still, like, it's just so bomb. And it has not been shedding at all. Like, if it does, it's like one or two strands, barely anything. The only thing I will say about this hair is I was sent 130% density, which I actually am happy with that density because it's so lightweight. And, like, when I'm at work, it doesn't make me hot or anything. But when I have all my hair to the back, it looks a little thin in my opinion. So if I was to purchase this wig myself, I'd probably get 150% density. I feel like that would be a good percentage. I don't even have to brush this hair when I'm working. Like, I could be dancing and sweating and this hair will still be flowy, y'all. It's just the density. I just would get a thicker density, that's all. I will definitely be installing this hair again. Maybe not right away, but I'm going to keep this wig because... The hair is so nice. But like I said, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow because we're going to make this bag tomorrow, okay? Period. What's up, guys? So today is Friday night and no, I'm not going to the club. Like I told y'all last night, tonight I have two private bookings with TT and Deja. So that's where I'm about to head to now. The first private booking is for Deja's homegirl. It's her birthday and she wanted some dancers for her birthday party. So she booked us for the party. And then after that one, we have a second booking, which is actually an hour away. But this booking is with some people that we got a booking with before. And we made good money. So we're going to drive that hour for this money. So we about to head to the first birthday party. It is a dress code at the first one. She wants us to either wear black or gold or black and gold. So that's what I'm going to be wearing. And then the second one, I can wear whatever I want to that one. I'm so grateful that I'm able to have private bookings because sometimes the club really just don't be it. So thank God for this private booking coming up in last minute. Okay, looking out for your girl, period. So I'll see y'all when I get there. I know they're cute. Wow, because we're about to make a bag today. That's all I know. Period. Like a couple of them looking like women in the room. This is big as hell. Where'd you get this? She came here. I don't know what she's from, y'all. Okay. No, she for sure was. And I was like, oh, we're not going to dance with him. She was like, oh, no, you can't. Don't do too much. Bitch, I'll do the most every time. I paid to be I mean, we paid to do the most. I'm not going to touch y'all because. Oh my God. What what was I'm that? saying, all I'm gonna do, like, I'm gonna go to war with anybody. That should know me. Hey, I'm gonna I'm I'm bring it. I'm not gonna do the most, but it's a birthday. Like, you want me to do my thing? She got us donuts. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah! Donuts. Donut holes. Hey, don't run. You're gonna keep looking at us at the end of the day, bitch. Get over it. 
You're still gonna be there in that ass bitch, so. I can't believe it. I it can't so believe bad. it. She killed every, she killed the whole vibe. It was just like, eh. The lighting is bad. It was so ghetto, y'all. Like, it wasn't, well, it wasn't as ghetto as the first time, because the first time was extremely ghetto, like the shootout yeah. and shit. <laughs> But this time, oh my gosh, it was just the bitches hating on bitches. Like, Hated. oh, we look good. Shut the fuck up. Y'all ready for the, like, don't nobody want your niggas. Nobody want wants their money. For the money. You want their money, ho. I want yours too. The problem. By giving me some money, because that's my fun. Yeah, period. My funds, bitch. Here, my funds is my fun, huh? huh. Y'all ready for the Talk number? About A thousand each? Bobby. I don't think so. Seven. Oh Eight. <laughs> What's your guess? Six. It's giving 750. <laughs> Bitch, you can't be in the place, right? <laughs> Bitch, go to hell. It's giving 750. Wait. Two. Three, go. Bitch, it didn't go. Watch this. I'm gonna show you what you did. Give me the fucking phone. No, I'm over it, bitch. Wow. That's why my video is better anyway, ho. Cause I recorded it. Y'all get a grip. You about to get snatched on your head. Your bitch, you not smacking nobody. Come on. <laughs> oh, you keep you keep doing it when I. All right, I don't care. I don't need you, bitch. I'm finna record it myself. Where's some milk? It's some milk. Some milk. Y'all see how she talked to me and then asked me to do something for her? <laughs> Bring me the milk. <laughs> you did, bitch. In my house, bring me my milk. Oh, put that shit back. This bitch wanna talk shit. I'll put that shit right back. Please, please, can I get the milk? Wake your ass up. Yeah. 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 Okay guys, I'm home. For the most part, the party was fine, but we did have an incident. At the first party, a girl threw a drink in another girl's face, and then that's when we ended up leaving. We were only at the first party for like 30 minutes, and then after that, we ended up leaving because the girl started throwing drinks. She threw drinks in actually two people's faces, and she was like, I'm not playing with the messy sh tonight, blah, blah, and she just threw the drink in a girl's face. And once that happened, I was like, uh... I think it's time for us to go so we ended up just like okay we gonna wrap it up and go so it was only there for 30 minutes and then we ended up going to the next party and we got to the next party we was there for like an hour and then we went to the back to go change and the guy whose birthday it was his girlfriend started tripping she was just mad because he was just like he was drunk and he was doing a lot and she just felt some type of way i guess so she was like why are you doing all that why would you invite me to your party if you're gonna be having dancers you're gonna be doing all that but i'm gonna do a money count y'all these are my ones, y'all. So this is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. And then I have this. I look so crazy on this camera. Okay, uh, my camera just died, y'all. So I have to do it on my phone camera. But I left off with counting my ones. So I counted 700 in ones for y'all. And then I had these little leftover ones, which is, so that's $10. And then I have my big bills. So that's seven ten right now. And then I have two, four, six, eight, ten, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, and then three. So seven ten plus 300 is $1,010. Plus I got a cash app of 125, so that is 11.35. So we made $1,135 tonight and I'm so happy. 
as y'all know yesterday the club was bs today is saturday now and i do plan on going to the club tonight i'm trying to debate if i want to go to work on sunday or not because the club just been so slow i don't know if i want to go on sunday but i'm gonna see <laughs> what's up y'all so i went to the club tonight i did not talk to y'all before i left but that was because i was trying to finish editing this dallas video which i finished editing it and then i uploaded it and then i got to work and i looked on my youtube studio and it says copyright claim so now I have to figure out what the copyright claim is and fix that. I was trying to finish everything before I went to work and I just didn't have time to talk to y'all before that because of the copyright claim. But we about to do a money count y'all. I was just at work yawning like I'm so tired. Who put a fingerprint on my TV? Anyways, I did not turn my ones in tonight. So I have all of my ones y'all. My goal for tonight was $1,000 because tonight is Saturday. So I was like, okay, let me go in with the mindset I'm going to make $1,000. But honestly, I don't know if he's giving $1,000 or not. I definitely made my minimum though. I'm almost done straightening it. If I had to guess how much I made, I'd probably say somewhere around $700. The goal when I went into work was $1,000, but this ain't $1,000. So I'm going to say it's around $700. Maybe more, maybe eight. I'm gonna say 800. I got my own, I don't need security in the club All they wolfing on the dick, nigga, I thought you was a thug I ain't got nowhere to go, I shot up everywhere they would He ain't go to this, you know, come get it back in the hood Come get it back in the hood We ain't passed through no dodge, you ain't niggas no hood So tonight, this is what we made. We have 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 94. So we made 794 tonight. When I guessed it, I knew it was going to be like 7 or 800. So and I was shooting more towards 8. So we just $6 short of $800. I'm so glad to be back in LA, y'all. I'm definitely grateful because I know how bad it gets. So I will see y'all in the morning because I need to fix this video for y'all. what's up y'all so today's actually monday night now um the last time i talked to y'all i think was on saturday your girl just been trying to get some rest because i just been feeling really tired and stuff so i just was like yeah i'm not I'm not going to work i'm not doing none of that i'm just finna chill but i did want to come on here and say two things before i ended the video the first thing i wanted to say is a shout out to the two girls who went to my hairstylist and told her that y'all found her through me that's lit i appreciate y'all for letting her know shout out to y'all i hope y'all liked how y'all hair came out and then the second thing is i got a question in my comment section and i felt like instead of me replying to the comment i wanted to answer this in a video so this question was from journey to 159 thank you for commenting on the video her question is how do y'all keep track of y'all money bags throughout your shift so at different clubs they do different things i'm gonna give y'all examples of clubs that i've worked at and how they how does keep track of our money so at my home club in la that i work at right now we carry our own money bags so if I make some money on the floor or on the stage, whatever, by myself, a sweeper will come and sweep the money up and they'll just put it inside of my money bag and I just carry it around the club with me all night. 
Now to keep track of it, that's on you. Like you need to just make sure you're watching your money back throughout the night. Like if you're going to put it down somewhere, you better be watching it. Because girls have got their money back stole before. So me personally, I always put my money back somewhere that I could see it. Now say if I'm in a section, most of the time we have these things where we put the bottles at and stuff. Like it's kind of like a table type thing. I'll just put my money bag like underneath it. And I'll just be dancing in the section and my money bag will be right there. But at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to make sure that your money bag does not get stolen. Now, say if I was to partner up with somebody, whether it's a stage set or it's five girls to a section, whatever. They put our money in a trash bag and they write all the girls' names on it. And it's up to the girls that you're in the section with or whoever you partnered with if you guys want to keep the bag or not. One of you guys can keep the bag inside of your money bag and y'all just split it at the end of the night. If you dance with people that you don't really trust like that to be having your money, then they also allow the sweepers to go put the money in the back in a safe. So nobody can get the money bags until the end of the night when the person goes back there to get all of the money bags that were put back there and all the girls have to be there when you go get the bag so that way not one girl can go get the bag and leave with it or steal from it or anything like that and we double knot the bags so if anybody tries to open the bag you can't unless you rip the bag open like we make sure we tie them super tight in like double knots now compared to when i was in dallas working recently the way they do it is you do not carry a money bag. You carry some type of wristlet or purse. Mostly because they want people to give big bills there. The ones are not a big thing. At the gentleman's club, I worked at y'all. I don't know how the booty club works. When I was at Ecstasy, the girls was walking around with grocery bags. That's what I saw when I went there. But at the gentleman's club I worked at, they want you to carry a purse or a wristlet. If you're on stage and you get a lot of ones thrown at you, they give you this little basket. And you carry the little basket around. I probably have a picture of how the basket looks. I'll just insert it on the screen so y'all can see what I mean by a basket. And then when I was in Atlanta, y'all, the way they did it was you cannot carry a money bag on the floor. Basically, every time you make some money, you have to get a new bag. So whether it's with a partner or whatever, you have to get a new bag every single time. So like I remember I had danced for a customer. He had threw like $300 at me. The sweeper came, picked it up, tied it, gave it to me, and told me I have to take it to the back. I can't walk around with the bag. I can't add more money to the bag. I can't do none of that. So I would have to go put it in the locker. And then like I would have to go back on the floor. And then somebody had to like $20 at me. They put it in a whole nother bag. I had to go to the back and put it back in the bag. Like it's just, it was ridiculous. Those are the ways that I've experienced. And that's how I keep up with my money bag. Every club is different y'all. Every club has its own rules. But for the most part in Cali, you can carry your own money bag around. And you can put your own money in your bag. You can have a sweeper put the money in the bag for you. And you carry it around all night with you. So I'm going to just go ahead and end the video here, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really love, love, love the support that I've been getting lately. Shout out to the girls and the guys that have supported me through my journey so far. Y'all, I got some lit content coming for y'all. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you go watch some of my other videos. And make sure your post notifications are turned on so you can be notified every time I post a video because who don't want to watch my videos? Everybody want to watch my videos, period. Love you guys. Bye. Fuck nigga, still can't believe I used to fuck with you. Popping, playing bees, cause I ain't playing to be stuck with you.